My problem with the, with the notion of the grand project is that it seemed to be a substitute for, for serious engagement with locality. And there was an idea that a fixed future, a computer-generated future, could be delivered before it arrived. So we were moving out of the normal stream of time into some weird version of time where you could go to a place and instead of looking at what the thing is, you look at a vision of what it may become which is also cunningly made up of elements of the real, so that you'd have these photocollage-like effects whereby the real horizon of Docklands would be there. The foreground would be complete invention, and in your brain you knit the two together and you create this new landscape that isn't to come or isn't the past. It's a nowhere. With the Olympic project in the Lower Lee Valley, also involves a return to the age of the enclosures, agricultural enclosures of the 19th century. So a whole chunk of landscape disappears overnight and is replaced by a blue fence with a very high level of security and an introduction to a world of image wars, which means that you are not allowed to take a photograph, particularly an analog photograph of this fence, or you'll be arrested by security and your film will be taken, or if it's digital, the images will be deleted. And at the same time, when you're within that space, you can only have the, vi the images that are created by this computer-generated process. So there's a, a perfect visual world, which is not our world, and there's a desperate attempt to keep a kind of notebook of reality, and the two just don't work together.